Hi, my name is Ryan Dotson. I'm a survival specialist and a survival writer. And ABP Tactical uh, has asked me to review a few of their products, uh, survival products specifically. And the first one that I'm going to be looking at is the ABP Tactical Shovel. Okay. Uh, now, when I they first asked me to look at their tactical shovel, I kind of laughed to myself because a few months ago I was given a shovel to take a look at, and um, it it was not all that great. I'm not going to tell you the name of the product or the company. Um, this is the shovel here. I used it exactly one time, and the reason why is because this thin aluminum just bent right over, so virtually worthless. Um, this product, at first glance, has very thick cast aluminum here, which I think is going to hold up a whole lot better. So I'm looking forward to really testing this out. Um, wanted to review some of the features of this just at first glance, and then we're going to take it outside and beat it up and test it out and see exactly how well it does. Um, now, the, the head of the shovel itself, it has a, a sharpened straight edge right here, which would be nice for trimming off branches off of trees and things like that. These two top edges are not sharpened. Um, I, I probably would grind them down and sharpen them. Um, long term, but um, you do have a uh, ruler here for measuring. Uh, you have two uh, hex tools there for bolt heads, and then you have a serrated edge here, which would be real nice for uh, for trimming down poles and, and small saplings, things like that. This right here, um, it works like a gut hook, um, or you can also use it for uh, cutting cordage or um, fishing line, things like that. And then this can also be folded over at 90 degrees and secured in place. So you can use it as a shovel or you can use it as a hoe um, for uh, breaking up soil and things like that. Um, now, the next piece here in the handle has a glass breaker right here. So if you had a situation where a car was on fire or underwater and you needed to break a side window to get somebody out of the vehicle, that's uh, handy to have. Next piece, you've got another straight edge. This one is just super razor sharp, and you also have another serrated edge here uh, and a bottle opener right there. Next piece, you've got a combination Phillips head and flathead screwdriver. And then the last piece is you've got a magnesium rod. Some people call them ferro rods, and uh, that is really nice for starting a fire if you don't have any matches or a lighter. Got a high carbon blade here, so you can use that to uh, to start your fire. Now, as you assemble all these pieces together, it uh, really starts to become apparent exactly how big this shovel is. That's 29 inches end to end, uh, which is over twice the length of that other shovel that I was using. So that gives you a lot of leverage when you're doing any digging or anything like that. So I'm going to get this all uh, tightened down and assembled, and then we're going to go take it outside and. Uh, test it out and see how well it does.